Welcome everyone to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Viltrox K60 RGB tube lights. I've been needing tube lights for a long time. Recently used them in a photo shoot that my wife and I did and they produce the softest, most beautiful light. I didn't particularly work with this brand, but uh, I just got a Viltrox lens. Check out the review at this link right here. I don't know where this brand came from, but it seems like it just showed up. They're in the affordable price range, kind of, I would say, a median price range. Uh, but when it comes to these lights, let's say they're super affordable. I think I paid $150 for these. I'll put the link in the description, but they weren't that expensive. This is a two-pack um, of an RGB light stick that has 0-360 to 360 color phase, 20 watts of power, uh, rechargeable, travel, easy. Uh, I think this is going to add a whole new dynamic to some lighting that I've been wanting to play with as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. First things first, I noticed there's a fair amount of weight to the package, so that's nice. I'm going to go ahead and open this here, and I'm going to slide out. Oh boy! Look at this! You know what that is? That is a beautiful carrying case. This is a nice case. This is like a pool cute case almost. Gonna make it easier to fit inside a, either a suitcase or a carry-on bag. Go ahead and get this opened up. Love it. This is my favorite part of unboxing is unwrapping everything. It's kind of like Christmas every time. And basically I have Christmas throughout the year. Every time I feel like I need to fill a void by purchasing something on Amazon, uh, this is what happens. So. Yeah, you can fill voids too. Just click the link below. I'm going to go ahead and open up this god-awful packaging. It's not bad. It's not bad. First impressions are the weight is lovely, and it has a little control panel right here. Get that in focus. Power button set. I'm not sure what all these do. I haven't read the instructions on this. I probably won't. But uh, let's see if we can turn her on. Scanning complete. This is cool. Look at that soft light. Holy moly. It's probably way too overexposed for what I have going on, but this is crazy soft. Just beautiful light overall. Wow. Uh, wasn't expecting that. Looks like it has a little battery meter and it shows you exactly how much power it has. See if it doesn't want to get in focus there. I think it's saying there's 28% battery life. It's at 260 degrees on the color scale, 100 lumens. So it's max brightness. Oh no, that's not, okay. The battery's at 50%. So uh, there's a little battery symbol right here. And it is showing that the battery's about half full as it's shipped, but this is the brightness. Oh, this gets so bright. Like, wow, unanticipated. Weird, the battery signal went up when I put it to 100% battery. And then when I went back down, the battery went back down to 20. I'm gonna put it at 20% for now because I got really sensitive cameras and I'm not really worried about it. This is an unattractive way to light someone from beneath. This thing's wild, wildly bright. This is just color temperature options right here. This is super daylight. Goes all the way from 2,500 to 8,500. Look at that, green tint. Okay, okay, okay. What? It has RG, uh, red and green tint. You can, you can subtract colors and get the color temperature just right this is a really cool piece of equipment and i'm very excited that i have it i'm going to turn the power down even more because you don't need much light with the cameras that i'm using but i'm telling you this light is like if i had this here over my head like look at the difference it's just beautiful soft light and i'm not it's like not even mounted it's <laughs> am i a pretty girl this is amazing, and I got two of them. Cannot wait to use this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this down. Holding that little power button right there is my guess. Beep boop. 
and I'm gonna charge these up to 100% so that they're ready to use for future videos. Looks like it came with a few things here in the pack. Uh, this was sticking out. Looks like a little tripod screw, double-sided, probably for mounting this on something. Does this, yeah, look, has a little tripod screw right there, quarter inch, that goes into there, and I'm sure that can be used to mount on something. I'm not doing that right now, so I'm just gonna set it to the side like this. Comes with USB-C recharging. Two USB-C recharging cables, just what I needed. More USB-C cables. I have a million of them. I have a full, so I have so many cables. You wouldn't believe how many cables. I'm a cable hoarder. You know how I have the show hoarders? They should have cable hoarders. Can always use these to charge stuff, so very nice. Um, another tripod mount screw. What is this? Does this come with more bags? Hold up. Or is this, oh, you know what? I think this is a grid which can directionally control the light a little bit more. It's a light control item. So it just kind of like makes the beam more straight and like on a focus point versus super soft and spread out. This is thick plastic. God. Okay. Very nice. Throw the trash on the ground, pick it up later, or don't, I don't know. Uh, ooh, it's like a little ladder. Yeah, so this is something that would, I imagine, hold the whole light beam in there. Look at that. Okay, so there's little elastic straps in here, and you put the tube in through the elastic straps. I can do two things at once. This thing is just not cooperating. So. Yo, that's pretty cool. So if you're looking to have a little more directional light, let's see what that looks like. It's turned on. That's like way more, it's like a thin line of light versus the whole soft light that was there before. Very directional, almost like a flashlight. You can see it does a pretty decent job of blocking out light except for a very thin margin. So if you're doing like, if you wanna do like a very harsh side light or a nice kicker, that's probably what I'd use that for right there. Probably won't use these because I'm looking for the soft light, um, but nice that they're in there. Always nice when it comes with these things. And it fits in the case, so. Super cool, man. Super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this away. Who needs it? Instructions, I'll figure it out. I'll get frustrated because I didn't read the instructions. And then I'll go onto the website and download a PDF later. That's what I recommend everybody do. Never read the instructions, just get frustrated with not understanding it later and then download the PDF from the website. That's my helpful tip to you. So this is going right back in the case. Check out this guy, see if it works. Right, right to the blue. I guess that's what it goes to. Yeah, it has four scenes. You can change between those scenes. Let's see, lightning. Ooh, let's see, lightning effect. Gotcha! I don't know if thunder would be that quick, but if lightning struck this close, it'd probably be like instantaneous. Cyan, magenta, B, blue, G, R, RGB, party. I know you like that. Um, you could definitely throw a party with these. Cocktail one, cocktail two. Love just goes through like love colors. Like uh, RGB just scrolls through all of them. Ooh, fire truck. This would definitely be good for a scene like in a car or uh, reflecting light off of an actor while you're trying to portray the fact that they are near a fire truck. And let's do fast to actually see how that looks. Yeah, that's probably a little bit more believable for what would be on the side of the road. Cool. Uh, ambulance, police car, red and blue. Uh, don't put these in your car. That can be a problem for you. This is so cool. Fireworks, man, there's a lot of settings in here. Three firework versions, uh, TV, so like flickering TV. If you're setting up a scene to make it seem like an actor is watching TV, but you don't want them actually lit by the TV, you can do this. Okay, uh, there's a very cool light separation happening in the lens here. And I'm gonna take a picture of that because that is wild. It's like separating the colors in the lens. Let's see if I can get that. Fire, 
Candle, SOS, I don't know, camera flash. These are so bright, 5%. This is 5%. Let's go to 100 and just see what happens. Whoa, I look like powder. One hundred percent overexposed. That's crazy. These things are so bright. One percent. Easily can use this for lighting setups for a video because you don't need much video with a camera that I have. I am super happy with this purchase. So I'm gonna go ahead and box this back up as best as I can. Put this guy here for, and we'll put this one here. I plan on using these lights in every video I have moving forward, so I'm gonna go charge them up to 100%. I cannot get over the build quality of these lights. Viltrox is a brand that has seemed to just randomly show up for me. I don't know how long they've been in business, but the amount of craftsmanship and quality that I feel like I'm getting in the products that I'm purchasing is unparalleled so far. Like, I feel confident that these, and based off the reviews um, that already exist on Amazon, these are really well reviewed and uh, photographers and videographers alike seem to enjoy them. Check out the link in the description and you can get yours too. I might get a little kickback from Amazon if you do that, but it would help me out. I'm just trying to do more product video reviews for things that I use and products that I like. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you have any questions or you want to see any other gear that I use. Until then, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next review.